you're one of the most successful people ever. You've built an incredible company that has a lot of impact. What advice do you have for young people today? How to live a life they can be proud of? How to, how to build something that can um, have a big positive impact on the world? Well, let's break that down because I think you proud of have a big positive impact. <laughs> well, you're actually listening. This and how to great. live your life are actually three different things that um that I think I mean they, they could line up, but um and also like what age of people are you talking to? Because I mean I, I can like high school and college, so you don't really know what you're doing, but you dream big and you really have a chance to to do something unprecedented. Yeah. So also I guess for just people to, my age. Okay, so let's maybe maybe start with the the kind of most philosophical and abstract version of this. Yes. Every night when I put my daughters to bed, we, we go through this thing and uh, like, you know, it's a, they, they call it the good night things because we're, we're basically what we talk about at night. Um, and and I, I just, I, good I go through them. <laughs> Sounds like a good show. <laughs> yeah, the good night things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Priscilla's always asking, she's like, can I get good night things? It's like, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, you yeah. go to bed too early. Um, but, but it's, um, <laughs> it's, but I, I basically go through with Max and, and, and Augie, um, you know, what are the, the things that are most important in life, right? That I just, it's like, what, what do I want them to remember and just have like really ingrained in them as they grow up? And it's health, right? Making sure that you take care of, of, of yourself and keep yourself in good shape loving friends and family right because you know having the the relationships the the family and making time for 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 friends i think is is um perhaps one of the most important things um and then the third is maybe a little more amorphous but it is something that you're excited about for the future and when i'm talking to a four-year-old often i'll ask her what she's excited about for tomorrow or the week ahead but i think for for most people it's it's really hard I mean, the, the world is a heavy place. And I think like the the way that we navigate it is that we have things that we're looking forward to. So whether it is building AR glasses for the future or um, being able to celebrate my 10-year wedding anniversary with with my wife that's coming up, it's like, I think people, we, we, you know, you, you have things that you're looking forward to. Um, or for the girls, it's often, I want to see mom in the morning, right? It's like, just, but it's, I think that that's a really critical thing. And then the last thing is I ask them every day, what did you do today to help someone? Um, because I just think that that's that's a, a really critical thing. Is like, like it's it's easy to kind of get caught up in yourself and um, and and kind of stuff that's really far down the road. But like, did you do something just concrete today to help someone? And you know, it can just be as simple as okay, yeah, um, I helped set the table for lunch, right? Or you know, this other kid in in our school was having a hard time with something and I like helped explain it to him. But um putting that those are that's sort of like if if you were to boil down my overall life philosophy into what I try to impart to my my kids, um, those are the things that I think are really important. So okay, so let's say college. So if you're graduating college, probably more practical advice. Um so I'm always very focused on people and I think the most important decision you're probably going to make if you're in college is who you surround yourself with because you become like the people you surround yourself with. And I I sort of have this hiring heuristic at Meta which is that I will only hire someone to work for me if I could see myself working for them. Not necessarily that I want them to run the company because mm -hmm. I like my job, but like, but but in an alternate universe, if it was their company and I was looking to to go work somewhere, um, would I be happy to work for them? And I think that that's a helpful heuristic to help balance. You know, when you're building something like this, there's a lot of pressure to you know you want to build out your teams because there's a lot of stuff that you need to get done, and you know everyone always says don't compromise on quality, but there's this question of okay, well, how do you know that someone is good enough? And I think my answer is I would want someone to be. To, to be on my team if I would work for them. Um, but I think that's actually a pretty similar answer to like, if you were going to go, if you were choosing friends or a partner or something like that. So when you're kind of in college, trying to figure out what your circle is going to be, trying to figure out, you know, you're evaluating different job opportunities. Um, 
who are the people, even if they're going to be peers in, in what you're doing, who are the people who in an alternate universe, you would want to work for them because you think you're going to learn a lot from them because they know because they they are kind of values aligned on the things that you care about and they're going to like um, and they're going to push you. But also they know different things and have different experiences that that are kind of more of what you want to become like over time. So I don't know. I think probably people are too, in general, objective focused and maybe not focused enough on the connections and the people who they're who they're basically building relationships with. I don't know what it says about me, but my place in Austin now has um, seven legged robots. So I'm surrounding myself by robots, which is probably something I should look into. 